I'm here with Dr. Romano and we're going to do a very tough pH problem. Come on in, let me show you what we got. Um, this is a question that I think if you can do this question, you will be able to do any problem on the DAT exam. This is a tough one, but this is for those students who really want to excel and make sure you got a great understanding of the material. What we want to do is consider a 0.001 molar solution of methylamine and the KB is given as 4.4 to the minus 4. And what I want to do is to find the pH. Now, what I would do on a calculation in which they give you either a KA or a KB, the question is, what's the first step? And the first step is to write the reaction out. So I take the CH3 and H2, and we always put it in water. Now, because they gave you a KB, we know it's a base. So a base is going to accept a proton. So when it accepts a proton, it becomes CH3, NH3 plus. That is the methyl ammonium cation, and what's left over is OH minus. So that first step, you have to absolutely know how to do. So all you got to do is take an H off of the water, protonate it, and you got this. Your second step is to write the KV. Well, that's easy. Any K is simply the products divided by the reactants, don't include the water. Now we put the numbers in. We know the KB is 4.4 to the minus fourth. This is a one-to-one -one ratio. So that means that this is X and this is X. So together they're both X squared. The bottom, we started with O01 and at equilibrium, we're gonna lose some of that. So we're gonna get O01 minus X. So when I put these brackets, this stands for the equilibrium concentrations of everything. So as you can see here, the equilibrium amount is 001. Now for the dat, we're always going to assume that this denominator, this small amount of X, is negligible. So I'm going to delete it out. So now it becomes 4.4 to the minus 4 equals X squared over 001, which is 1 to the minus 3. I cross multiply and I get 4.4 to the minus 7. But since this is an odd number, I'm going to rewrite it because I'm going to have to take the square root, move the decimal up one, move it back one. So it becomes 44 to the minus 8 equals x squared. I smell blood. I'm going to square root the whole thing. I don't know what the square root of 44 is, but I know the square root of 49 is 7. So it's in the ballpark of 7. It's a little bit under 7. Call it 6.6, 6.7 in that area. Half of negative 8 is minus 4. So when we solved for the X, that gives you the methyl ammonium ion as well as the hydroxide ion. Well, we want the pH. So since the hydroxide ion is known, minus the log of that is equal to, well, if it was a 1 to the minus 4 and we took the negative log of it, it would have been 4. But this is a 6.6, .6, so we want to drop our answer. So it'll be about 3.2. In the Destroyer book, I give you a nice little exercise on how to estimate logs. Now that we know the pOH is 3.2, subtract it from 14 to get the pH, which is 10.8. If you can do that problem, you are good to go. That would be the hardest question you would see on the DAT exam or the old exam for acid-based chemistry. Wow. And that wraps it up. Yes. Wow, great. Thanks, Dr. Romano. I think I'm going to take a break and go get some lunch. I don't think you need any lunch, young lady. You look very well fed. And if you want to eat something, why don't you dig into this chemistry and maybe pick up a textbook and learn some more general chemistry. Good day to you.